you said the number one question you get is, why haven't I heard these questions bef before? Do you think similar stories are happening? And what role do you think representation and making these narratives and lives lived more available to the broadest possible audience has and maybe being a pivot point for us? I, I do. I mean, one of the, one of the, the real uh, eye-openers for me from this experience has been the transformative power of story. Right. And how story is able to open minds, open hearts, open eyes in a way that simple facts cannot. It's, it's just, and this, mm -hmm. was, this really is somebody who loves facts, believes in facts, you know, very analytical was uh, an extremely important lesson. And if you have facts and a story, wow, that, yep. that's just amazing. It's really powerful. But it was important for me to tell a group story and not for mm -hmm. this to be just a one and only right. story, which right. I think is the usual narrative when you hear about a woman or a person of color mm -hmm. in these fields. Mm -hmm. It was really important to tell the group story right, for me. Right, right. I think that was very powerful. And when the world saw this in the movie, that was the big moment, the aha moment. It wasn't an only. Mm -hmm. This this was a true revelation to me that all of this happened. You know, we have this idea that women are not good at math and science, and yet so much of this, this computing and calculating, and not just at NASA, but you know, in the military, um, in, at Bell Labs, at, you know, all of this sort of late 19th century, early 20th century, mid 20th century um, research and development and science, so much of that had to do with women sitting in rooms doing math. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I think that's one of the great stories of the 20th century mm -hmm. that nobody ever told me about or that right. I, I didn't know about. One of the things is we are trying to understand uh, what are the pathways uh, for women in science, how can we get more women in science, how do we create you know, a bigger pipeline. Well, it might be helpful to look at the success stories from the past. Right. And I think this is a truly interesting data set. Um, so that's really the idea, is to um, both uh, credit these women for the work that they did, and also to give us a way to understand some of those pathways and, and what they might mean for, right. for women in the pipeline today. And I think we're at a point in history where instead of just presuming that history is about the president, the king, the business person, whoever these, you know, the people from the top down, that we are making history today by being in this room. Right. And, you know, 100 years from now, mm -hmm. maybe people will be looking at the records and say, what were those people doing? It was an important thing and, you know, um, an important time in our country and the world. And, um, that's history, too, that right. all of us are involved in that. On behalf of Northwestern and the One Book, One Northwestern program, thank you so much. Thank this you. Has been just this has been wonderful. Really thank you. It.